Hey guys, happy Monday, it's Mike. It's Palin, it's Rowena. Let's talk about a story that happened a while ago, but it's kind of broke this past weekend, and it's really shocking, I guess, where it happened. Uh, this happened in Big Bear Mountain. Is that is that a mountain? Big Bear, yeah, Big Bear Mountain in California. I go there at least once there. every winter to go snowboarding with my friends. Is that a good place? It's okay. You never been there? Nope, never no, been there. Do you snowboard? Nope. <laughs> I, I love, I love, I, I'm, am I the only skier? I love, I love skiing. I, I go like Whistler. That's like my favorite Uncle place. Uncle Mike skiing. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's, oh, we're going to go back to the story here. There's a lady, her name is uh, um, Dean Stin, Dean Dian Sa. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it uh, incorrectly. And she and her friends, she booked an Airbnb for her and her friends. And they, they got to the Airbnb, basically they're five minutes away. It was snowing, the weather was bad. All they wanted to do was get, just go in and get a good nice rest. And then they get a message from the Airbnb owner basically saying, uh, you can't come here. Because you're Asian. Yeah, like, yeah. like flat out. Not even like subtly that you can't come here, why? Um, because we're, you know... I, One word says it all, Asian. You want something for nothing. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't understand that, do we? Do we come off? Do we, so then what, what happened was she, the the girl who's booking the Airbnb, yeah. she asked if two of her friends could come along with two other puppies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And at first the Airbnb host agreed to it, but then afterwards, last minute, she's like, no, you can't come because yeah. you want free loading, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, Asian. Yeah. You want something for nothing. I think that's where the, okay. like, the context of where it came, how it came up. Right, I just didn't, I, I didn't know if that was a common Asian stereotype for us to want something for nothing. And she even said buffet, bo like BOGO buffet, buy one get one free buffet. So it's like, that's <laughs> of all the things to say. Let me be, let me, let me just put this out there. We're, we're cheap. I mean, we, we like a deal. I mean, is that's, 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 that's like accurate to describe Asians. I think we, we, we want a good deal, but doesn't everybody, yeah. doesn't everybody want a good yeah. deal? Um, so for, but for this person, it was just, so, it was just so surprising to me that she was so blunt about it. Yeah. It wasn't like she was like, you know what, uh, uh, it doesn't really work um, because you changed the, the terms of our agreement last minute, it doesn't really work for me, I have something else come up. I'm so surprised someone in this day and age would be like over messaging and just be like, because you're Asian. Mm -hmm. I and it's past insane that. because Airbnb just rolled out earlier this year, maybe even late last year, yeah. an agreement, an anti-discrimination agreement, and every host and every um, guest yeah. had to sign this agreement before they book things or before they allow their house to be put on the market. Right. Um, I, I, I just think it's, it's just, look, a couple of things that struck me about the story. One is the blatant racism of, of what happened here. And this girl, she's so upset and she was crying in the video where she was being interviewed and uh, you know, she's this is very upsetting. I mean, it's, it's yeah, it's understandable. understandable. I mean, if this, does this happen to anybody? Well, I'm really surprised by how blatant this person is like over a documented conversation. I, I mean, nothing ever goes away. When I text you something like, you, you can't come up. It's yeah. yeah. And, and she's, and this lady, and this landlord uh, person, uh, the host, was so, ble that, that's the first thing that surprised me. Secondly, I want to bring up this thing. I, don't, I want to know if you guys agree with me on this. And this is just something I'm, I'm thinking, thinking about, and, and I could be totally wrong. But I'm going to throw this out there, and you guys can disagree. I feel like this, was, this would not happen like this if, let's say, uh, it was a black group. It was, a, it was a group of black friends or black family. And I feel like also this maybe would have been a bigger deal than what it was. Because right now, okay, it, it, was, it, was, you know, it was a story, but then that's it. I saw it on mm. Facebook once, right. maybe. Yeah. But if it, it was a black family or a, or a group of friends who were, you know, who were black, I felt like, I felt like, first of all, I don't even know if she would have, she would have been so blunt about it. Um, but secondly, I feel like it would have been, it would have blew up. I feel like it would have been, can you imagine Trump supporter? Because that's how they're kind of making the story out to be. She's a Trump mm -hmm. supporter. I think this would have been big story, but because it's Asians. And I felt like um, throughout, you know the the last you know 100 years or so being racist to Asians in in, in the west is seem like it's more okay than being I don't think it's more okay I just think it's less reported on cuz you don't care yeah or it's like Well why is it less reported up. on I think it's like there's trends right and I think the whole black lives matter african american not being racist to black people it's kind of 
I guess it's trending or mo more people are more aware of it, more people are into the cause. So people are far more likely to report on those issues as opposed to Asian Americans who I think naturally we tend to not speak up about these type of things. But what, what about you, Pelin? Um, I feel like generally Asians are more quiet and we're more, um, how do you say naysiang in English? What, wait, what? Introverted. Introverted? In introverted? Yeah. 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 Um, and if something happens to us, we'd be like, oh, okay. It's like internalized it's, things. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's my fault. Maybe I can do something better. That's how we think usually. So that's why it didn't get reported that much. And I'm not trying to sit here and be like, oh, poor us Asians, we, we don't we don't get the first shake of thing. I'm I just feel like this is reality right now. I feel like this is reality. I feel like if it was a, a black family that 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 you know that was in the situation. First of all, like I said, I, I don't know if this lady would have treated them the same. Well, can you imagine her being like, why? Why, why can't we come? She's like, you're black. I, I don't know. I just don't see that happening as much as she, she said here, like so blatantly, because you're Asian. It's almost like, what are you going to do about it? That's kind of like what I'm feeling with this whole situation. It's kind of, she's kind of saying, because you're Asian. And I don't care who you tell. I don't care, you know, I don't care how you feel. What are you going to do about it? Because you're Asian. And she's blatant enough to say that. I just feel like she's just in her head. She's like, that's, that's, it's okay. It's, okay. Yeah. it's not going to be that big a deal. Yeah. yeah. And, and the story was, is kind of like, okay, it's, it's like you said, you saw it once on Facebook. Yeah. I saw it once. And that was it. But if, like I said, if I just really feel if it wasn't Asians involved, it would just be blown up. So, and, and like you said, I, I agree. With lack of life matters. There's a lot of tension. A um, lot of lot of tension on that on that on that on that race There's issue. a lot of eyeballs right. and a lot of heart and soul poured into this movement. But 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 the, we Asians we we are also discriminated against. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. we are not any less important as a race than, than any other race. So we are also facing the problem. But at the same time, we're not getting the attention. The, the, I might be making this way bigger than what this story is. That's just how I felt when I saw the story. Agreed. Anybody? Anything else? <laughs> Anything else to add about that? I think just one thing. She was uh, she's going to law school at UCLA. Yeah. Her boyfriend's white, Caucasian. Yeah. And the way that this lady was just talking to her, the host, and she even said, "I'm a I'm a lawyer. This yeah. is a, you know you're violating my constitutional rights." Yeah. And the she the host care. was like, "Whatever. Yeah. I don't care." Do whatever you want. Report me to Airbnb. I don't mind. So I think the good thing is this host is terminated from Airbnb. Yes, right. Thankfully, so. yeah. Yeah, but it's like it's it's shocking that something yeah. like this still happened. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad Airbnb did the right thing. I'm glad this story at least came out somewhat, so people can you know hear more about it because um, any form of racism, obviously in this country, is it, ridiculous, especially this day and age. Uh, especially when you're leaving a digital footprint evidence of your race. Like, this is so blatant. I just don't understand it. But let us know uh, your thoughts on this story. And let me know your thoughts on my theory. Uh, just yell at me if you want. <laughs> but that's just kind of how I felt when I saw the story. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.